think it might be good to come up with like an AutoCAD drawing, you know, for all the CNC files and everything. So let's do a shelf, at least one shelf, probably with some expanded metal. Three shelves, expanded metal. Stuff for grinders. Side there, and we need some wheels. I'm thinking wheels. Oh, in here, we have some drawers. You know, drawers to pull out. Uh, this sucker is tacked up, tacky, tackified. Got all my little tack, so it's, you know, pretty much holding together. I wouldn't roll it down a hill at this point, but you know, it's okay. So now it's time to cook it. Get in there, get some deep cooking going on. Some of the welds look just fine. I just left them. Others needed a little bit of grinding. You know, they were like a little bulbous or whatever, especially where I had big gaps to fill. This side is gonna need some drawers. So uh, we need some drawer sliders and I just happened to have a little stock pile. You know, I found like an Ikea cabinet on the side of the road a while back. Two, three, I think we're doing three drawers. And the cabinet was trashed, but man, it had a lot of sliders. So I got a bunch of these on stockpile. I think these things are gonna work. If they're too long, we can just kind of cut them down. Right. Yeah. All right, just so you know what's going on here, I pulled the tongues out of these sliders and I'm gonna chop them down so they fit in my box. They're just like a couple inches too long. So I'm gonna chop the tongues down because they've got a stop on one end. And then the sliders themselves, I'm gonna chop down on the other end. And we'll see if that works. All right, so while that guy is cutting, I was gonna see if we got some wood in the shop to make these drawers out of. The drawers could be steel, but I think I'm gonna go wood. Alright, so the only bummer on these guys is now they don't have a back. So I'm gonna have to mount them all the way to the back so they don't, you know, slide out or whatever. Alright, so I've gotta cut some wood for these drawers. And normally what I do when I'm cutting wood, just because of all the sawdust and everything, is I go outside. But right now, outside is six degrees. Six degrees, so I'm not gonna go outside. I got my wood cutting station set up. It's not the most roomy kind of deal. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so while the drawers are drying, you know, they got a little wood glue on there and they gotta dry up. We got a little situation over here. I put together uh, some little base rails, but this one is missing a corner. You know, I could cut a new piece of steel, but I figure it's just the right length. I mean, look at that. They're both just, mm. So I'm just gonna uh, patch this together End cap uh, type steel would be Oh, that's good stuff Until the invention of self-capping steel. I guess I can't ignore it any longer. I gotta put the sliders in here and see if those drawers will work.
That one looks okay, you know, it's like a little homemade looking, you know, CNC with character. But a couple of these other ones, they just got jacked up. My holes are all different sizes and stuff. So I'm going to either modify these or do something else or nuke them. it might be good to come up with like an AutoCAD drawing, you know, for all the CNC files and everything. Here's our, here's our box basically. And then over here, let's do a shelf, at least one shelf, probably with some expanded metal. We have some drawers, you know, drawers to pull out. And we need some wheels. I'm thinking wheels. I'm thinking wheels.